TGI just released their all-new Mavic 3 Enterprise series, effectively replacing the Phantom 4 RTK and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, but does that mean that you should hurry up upgrade your equipment? In this video, we're going to discuss the current DJI Enterprise lineup and help you figure out which aircraft is right for you. If you'd like some personal assistance picking the right aircraft, you can also just reach out to us by leaving a comment below, giving us a call, or leaving an inquiry on our website. We'll make sure we do the best we can to help pick the right drone for your needs. So aside from the Mavic 3 Enterprise series, this year DJI also released the Matrice 30 series, which fits between the Mavic 3 Enterprise series and the Matrice 300 RTK, in both price and overall capabilities. So with two new airframes introduced and two old airframes discontinued all in one year, what should you set your eyes on? If you're familiar with the Enterprise lineup at all, it's clear that the Mavic 3 Enterprise series, the Matrice 30 series, and the Matrice 300 RTK share many similarities. They're very different tools that serve different purposes and come in significantly different price points. To start, we'll take a look at the new Mavic 3 Enterprise series. The Mavic 3 Enterprise, or M3 for short, is DJI's new model made specifically for photogrammetry. With its 20 megapixel micro four thirds wide angle camera, the M3 replaces and outperforms the Phantom 4 RTK in pretty much every single way. Starting with the controller, the M3 uses the new DJI RC Pro Enterprise, which is similar to the Mavic 2 Enterprise controller with, um, you know, just some slight improvements. When comparing it to the Phantom 4 RTK controller, though, it just kind of really completely blows it away. It's just got a much more ergonomic design. In comparison, the P4 RTK controller feels clunky and kind of just falls short. The RC Pro Enterprise has built-in 1000 nit high brightness screen, allowing you to operate for three hours straight in full charge. It also has configurable buttons to allow you to set your most used features to shortcuts. Probably the biggest change, though, is that the RC Pro Enterprise uses the new DJI Pilot 2 app, which is the new standard app across the DJI Enterprise lineup. With Pilot 2 also comes access to Flight Hub 2, which is DJI's mission planning and collaboration software. So Flight Hub 2 allows you to instantly upload photos and videos to the cloud, tap into any one of your drone's cameras for live streaming, it also allows you to perform live annotations on the map, and much more. Next, let's compare the M3E's camera to the P4TKs. So remember, the M3E has a 20 megapixel 4 thirds CMOS wide angle camera with a global mechanical shutter. It also has a 56 times hybrid zoom camera, which makes the, you know, the M3 just a little bit more versatile when compared to the P4TK. The P4TK only has one sensor, and that's a 20 megapixel 1 inch CMOS wide angle camera. So off the bat, the sensor on the M3 is larger, which will result in better models. But aside from just the sensor size, the M3E's camera is capable of substantially lower, sh lower shooting intervals. It's got a shooting interval of 0.7 seconds versus 2.5 when looking at the P4. This allows you to fly missions at faster speeds because you're not bogged down by the shooting interval. Lastly, the M3E is capable of taking images in JPEG and RAW, whereas the P4 series is only capable of JPEG. Now, when it comes to mapping, we don't just care about GSD and image quality, we also care about accuracy. So to hone in our accuracy, we have the option to add an RTK module to the M3E and the ability to connect to the DJI DRTK mobile station. With these accessories, the M3E effectively becomes a Phantom 4 RTK, but better. Now, with RTK capabilities, the photos saved to the SD card during our mission will automatically have their geolocation data corrected in real time, making sure we have the highest level of accuracy. Lastly, we have a significant improvement in flight times. The M3E can fly for 42 to 45 minutes, while the P4 RTK is kind of limited to 30 minutes. With increased portability, a better camera for photogrammetry, a second zoom capable sensor, better controller, and the new Pilot 2 app, the M3E kind of just becomes the new standard for small and relatively inexpensive mapping drones. So yeah, the M3E definitely replaces the P4TK, but is it the best option for photogrammetry overall? That's where the DJI M300 comes in with the Zenmuse P1. The P1 camera, just like the M3E, has a 0.7 second shooting interval, but instead sports a 45 megapixel full frame sensor capable of collecting the data needed for 2D and 3D models all in just one flight. The P1 will take your mapping to the next level with accuracies as low as 2 centimeters horizontally and 3 centimeters vertically. The P1 is definitely a step up, but the M300 plus the P1 and its accessories are considerably more expensive than the M3E. In addition to the P1, the M300 can use a variety of different payloads for mapping, such as LiDAR, multi-spectral imaging, and oblique cameras, whereas with the M3E's camera, it's not interchangeable. Now, if you're looking for a drone with thermal imaging, the new Mavic 3 Thermal, the Matrice 30T, and the M300 all feature a 640 by 512 radiometric thermal imaging sensor with outstanding performance. Now, when deciding which model works for you, you really have to weigh your budget versus the features you desire. If thermal imaging is your main priority and you don't need all the bells and whistles, then the M3T is going to be your best and most affordable option. Now, alongside its thermal sensor is a 48 megapixel, one half CMOS wide angle camera, as well as a 56 times hybrid zoom camera. It has the same 42 to 45 minute flight time as the M3E and is the smallest and most portable out of the thermal imaging options. 
Now, if you have a larger budget, the M30T and M300 should be considered for their advanced features, weatherproofing, and higher wind resistance. The M30T is the next step up with its 4-in-1 payload that features a 640x512 radiometric thermal imaging sensor, a 48 megapixel hybrid 200x zoom camera, a laser rangefinder, and a 12 megapixel wide-angle camera. The combination of these four sensors makes it a powerful tool that unlocks new capabilities for both inspection and public safety applications. The M30T also comes with the RC Plus, which is DJI's most advanced, robust controller. It has a larger 7.1-inch screen, several more configurable buttons, a longer battery life, and for the most part, is pretty water resistant. For public safety, we have seen the M30 series quickly become the favorite for most situations, as it has most of the capabilities you need and is portable. But the Matrice 300 RTK still has its place. Like the Mavic 3 series, the camera and gimbal for the M30 and M30T cannot be interchanged, whereas the M300 has interchangeable payloads, can carry three payloads at the same time, and has the highest lifting capacity. Some of the payload options for the M300 include night vision cameras, drop systems, gimbalized spotlights, gimbalized speakers, gas detectors, LiDAR cameras, you know, just so many other options. This makes the M300 the most versatile platform in the DJI Enterprise lineup. Remember that the three platforms offer the same resolution radiometric thermal imaging, so the decision comes down to budget, advanced features, portability, and even the ability to swap payloads. Now, with all that said, where does that leave you if you currently have the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced or the Phantom 40K? These aircraft are still great, and support for them should be available for quite some time. If you have the budget, an upgrade can get you the newest equipment with all of the bells and whistles, but if not, you still have some amazing equipment that will continue to serve you well. To sum it all up, the M3 is your small affordable mapping drone. The M3T is your small affordable thermal imaging drone. The M30 or M30T is now a portable yet advanced tool for inspections and public safety. The M300 is a workhorse that can carry some various payloads for a variety of use cases. And the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the Phantom 4 or Phantom 4 TK, they're still great drones that will get you good use. Now this pretty much wraps up our video, so be sure to like and subscribe for more. If you have any questions about the new Mavic 3 series or any of the DJI Enterprise drones, reach out to us at 1-800-359-0530 or visit us at terrestrialimaging.com.